I've always wanted to build a DNA molecule, but I didn't want to build one of the simpler representations. I wanted to do something that was more accurate. So I had to do a lot of research first. I did some experimenting around with some cork. The base pairs were going to be easy, but the helical parts of the molecule were very hard to discern. So I looked at a lot of different pictures. I even took some frames from some animations and made 3D pictures so I could get a better look at what was going on. I ordered some beads. I had to separate the beads for size and start painting them. I was wondering what kind of plastic I was going to use as shelves for the bases. And then it dawned on me that pop bottles had perfect plastic in them. Assembling the base pairs was a piece of cake but I did pay close attention to the angles of the atoms and the way they're configured and to where the center of the DNA molecule is in relation to the base pairs. I punched holes on the side edge of each shelf for the base pairs. This is what allowed the molecule to be offset. I used a bamboo meat skewer and painted it black for the spine. After I got the base pairs done, it was time to start working on the helical portions. I built the sugar groups very easily. The phosphorus groups were a little bit harder. There was some meticulous work. I was using transparent acrylic glaze that you normally seal a painting with to glue the parts together. And it's very strong stuff. I built the parts on some plastics that were at least a little resistant to acrylic paint, but it still was a hard time getting them separated. I even had to trim some puddles away from some of the parts. When it got time to put the phosphorus and sugars together, I had to use hot glue. Because the acrylic sealer was too liquidy and takes too long to dry, the groups run in opposite directions on each side of the molecule. After everything was finally done, I glazed the molecule again with acrylic sealer to make it a lot stronger nice and shiny. And here's the finished product. I think it's a lot nicer than the simple representations. It took a lot of work, but it was worth it. If you want to build a nice accurate molecule like this, hopefully this video will have helped you. If you would like to see more of my model projects, please visit my website at the link provided. I also write stories and music, and dramatize the stories, and do short films, and lots of other things. Please come and visit me, and like this video. And thank you very much for watching.